All right, Michael, thank you. The finals frenzy has hit a fever pitch tonight with game four of the NBA finals. The Bucks and Suns tip off at eight tonight here in Milwaukee. Mike is down in the Deer District this morning. And Mike, how many hours until uh, game time here? Uh, the game starts at eight, so it's 7.30 or so right now. It's like 12 and a half hours, right? I am so good at math. I didn't even need a calculator. I don't need a calculator for this one either. Bucks down two games to one. have a chance to even up the series tonight, and they've got a great opportunity with home court advantage. And on that home court, they've got some dogs, as they say. Bobby Portis, P.J. Tucker, and the biggest dog of them all, Giannis Antetokounmpo. Now, P.J. Tucker is the one that calls his teammates dogs, and we had to ask what uh, kind of dog, what breed of dog is Giannis? Giannis like a greyhound, like one of them just long, just pause, just fast, just these last few games. Um, and just being around here, you just see like how hard he goes and his intensity and how focused he is on, on the game and just, you know, dominating. I feel like he's turned it up even more here in the finals. That Greek freak Greyhound did indeed dominate game two in a loss and game three in that big win. And he says his knee feels good going into game four tonight. Again, game is at 8 o'clock. If you're coming down here to the Deer District to watch the game, the Deer District opens at 6 o'clock. Always fun to watch all the fans rush on over and get the best spot they can in front of the screen, in front of the stage. The arena itself opens at 6.30. But the Bucks say uh, the attendance here in the Deer District outside set a record for game three in the last game. More than 20,000 fans cheering on the Bucks here in Milwaukee. They expect even more to fill the Deer District and Pfizer Forum for Game 4 tonight. And local business owners like Uncle Buck say they're going to be all hands on deck to accommodate that surge in customers. The Deer District is also adding more food and drink options for fans. We're, we're adding some more food, we're adding some more beverage. We want to make sure everybody that wants to uh, come out here and enjoy themselves, eat, drink, they can do that. I think everyone out here has been pretty lucky with turnout, with the uh, weather so far for the turnouts for these playoff games. That could change tonight. I know Michael's tracking this forecast, and we'll keep an eye on that for you all day long. For sure. Mike, I got to go back to the first. Okay, so if we're talking about P.J. Tucker's thinking like everyone's a dog on the team, you're kind of like our dog out there at Pfizer Forum. You've got our Bucks coverage every single day. What kind of breed of dog would you be? Uh, I've always said I'm definitely a bulldog shih tzu mix. <laughs> I like that. Okay, I like that. All right, thanks, Mike. Our Finals Frenzy coverage continues online. There you can find all of our reporting on the Bucks, the NBA Finals run at CBS58.com. Remember, our live team coverage doesn't end this morning. It picks up again this afternoon. Switch on over to CBS58 for more all throughout.